Please, a nice hand for Mike Burton. Come on, give me a hand! Mike Burton, there he is! All right! Go, ready to rock? Yeah! I've been traveling around a lot, I've been driving around a lot, and I'll tell you this, driving scares me. All right, it's not the people on the road that scare me, the signs on the road scare me. Like, I saw this one big billboard that said, what you don't know can hurt you. Hepatitis. <laughs> There's a lot I don't know. I probably have hepatitis. <laughs> Math and science, never very good. I'm probably not smarter than a fifth grader. Probably have hepatitis. Now you should have sat in the back. I got up real early one morning, I'm going out and I got to an intersection. Right across the street was a huge billboard that said, Do you have no interest in daily activities? <laughs> Are you often tired? <laughs> you have frequent headaches and frequent dizzy spells? <laughs> Thought I had lupus. <laughs> and then I remembered I just hung over again, so that was cool. <laughs> Very similar symptoms. The medical society should switch that up. I was scared that I had lupus until I had two Advil, which cures it. <laughs> so the weather's starting to get nice. It's going to be nice now. A little bad weather. The spring's here. It's going to be nice because I hate winter. Hate it. It's awful, right? I mean, you have like 20 degrees with a wind chill of minus 20. It's the worst because you put on everything you own, but you can't cover your face no matter where you get. You're like, <laughs> I hate winter so much, I'm for global warming. <laughs> I am. I'm voting for it, marching for it. I might start buying people SUVs. I don't care. <laughs> Ladies, start using hairspray again. You know what's nice? 70 degrees in January with no ozone. More hairspray, no ozone. Yeah. <laughs> January and February. Oh, Love it. And I know there's a lot of people with me, but there's always a couple of country granolas in here. And I know you're sitting here and in your heads, but the polar ice caps are going to melt and we're all going to flood. No, we're not. We're not all going to flood. We're only losing Rhode Island and Jersey. Bye bye <laughs> Providence is bringing nothing to the table. Here's a canoe. Get to safety. <laughs> I have a three-year-old son. I'll tell you this, very honestly, I'm not sure that I like kids yet. <laughs> right now, he's fine, he's cool. He wakes up, smiles, eyes smile, beautiful day. But kids grow up, and you've seen a lot of them. They suck. <laughs> and it doesn't take long. I went to a hotel, and I got there early enough to use the pool. I just want to go down, I'm going to relax by the hotel pool. And I go down there, a little five-year-old kid running around with a mom who doesn't care. Yeah. <laughs> you ever been around a five-year-old and a mama doesn't care? For 37 minutes, all I heard is little, 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 I want to raise a good kid, though. You know what I mean? Like, I want to raise a good, smart son. A son who knows right from wrong. I don't know how to teach right from wrong. Right now, fairly easy. And three, right from wrong is pretty much, get your finger away from that socket. You do not stick your finger in a socket. Which, as much as I want to see that, I don't let him do it. I don't, but there's part of me just one time wants to see him go, yeah, and learn a lesson. But I don't, because apparently they'll take him away. But you have to start young so when he grows up, he has a good head on his shoulders. You want to child with some common sense, you know what I mean? Like, when they get old enough to go to college, that's where you want to have done your job right. I get that. I understand that. Because you go to college, and everything's crazy. And then all of a sudden, spring break rolls around, get on a plane, you land in Cancun, and... Oh, the love of crazy. 
want the smart kid at spring break. Here's what I don't want. I don't need my son standing in Cancun going, dude, dude, watch me, watch me. I'm going to jump from our balcony to the pool. I know I can. <laughs> what? Yes, I can. I can jump from our balcony to the pool. I don't want that kid. I want my son standing right behind him going, dude, I got a beer right here that says you can not. <laughs> It's harder to watch him now that he's three, though. Because the first two years, it's easy to watch a baby. Easy. Sit around, watch sports, and eat Play-Doh. I'm good at that. <laughs> All right, but now my wife's on me. You need to take him out and do some activities with him. He's three now. He needs to be around some other children and be learning and be social. You take him out. You take him to library day. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> I don't want to go to a library day. I've never spent a lot of time in a library. I'm not a reader. There's other places to make copies. I have a computer at home. I'm really not even much of a molester. There's no reason for me to be in a public library. I don't even read stories to him like they're normally read to kids. Like in a children's story, there's a lesson in it, but it's not pointed out, so I point out the lesson. Easy story. Like even Jack and Jill has a lesson. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill wasn't paying attention and did the same damn thing. <laughs> You have to pay attention and learn from others' mistakes. <laughs> so we go to library day, and what happens is they hand you a book to read. Here, you can read this one to the children. They love it when the parents read to them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Schmucko gets the ten monkeys jumping in the bed. The most redundant story ever. We could have done this in three monkeys. You kidding me? We get it. <laughs> Ten monkeys jumping in the bed. One falls off and bumps his head. Mama calls the doctor and the doctor says, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> So I read them all. I get to the last one. The last monkey's jumping on the bed, and he falls off and bumps his head, and Mama calls the doctor, and the doctor says, you have some really stupid kids. <laughs> Your youngest child watched nine brothers and sisters jumping up and down on a bed, fall off, get a head wound, and have to go to the doctor, and didn't learn one thing. So now we're going to call social services. <laughs> And that's when I got kicked out of the library. <laughs> so I'm having a good time. It's nice now. We have any, are there any ladies' nights out here? No? Everybody's coupling kind of stuff? That's cool. Just, like, 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 what? What did I ask? Ladies' night out? You guys like a ladies' night out? Connie? Yeah? yeah. Mix up? You know what's cool about ladies' night out? Nothing. <laughs> I'll explain, I'll explain, what do you mean? I'll explain, alright, because here's what happened. Normally it's like, a, a lot of times it'll be like six or eight women. A lot of times it'll happen on a Friday, maybe they're working together all week, and then Friday lunch rolls around, and one of them goes, you know what we should do tonight? We should go out just the girls. The girls, uh-huh, a lady's not out, okay, make your calls, I will, yeah. <laughs> and you get out and you get to a bar, there's a troublemaker in your group, and you know who the troublemaker is. Because as soon as you walk in the bar, her first words are, let's do shots, shots! <laughs> All right, but just a couple. Woo! They have a couple of shots. And after that is, let's get margarita. Margarita! <laughs> Tequila gets me in trouble. But you're out with friends. You're right. Order mine with salt. Oh, of course. Woo! By the end of the night, they're just sitting in the corner of a bar and nobody goes near you. Not a waiter, waitress, bartender. Guys who walk all the way around your table to get to a bathroom. Nobody's going near you. You got one girl sitting there freaking out and all the friends are trying to help the freaked out girl. You know who she is. She's that same one every week. She sits in the very back corner of the table. Everybody's trying to have fun, but you can't because drama queen's sitting there the whole time. But I know! I know! I know! And all the friends are going, everything will be all right. I know! Then why are you crying? I don't know! Guys don't do that. You cry if you're out with the guys and they will beat the shit out of you. You guys are really nice. I thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the show.